overlap this. We don't want to cut it too short. So we're gonna go right where the, like in the middle of the trim. But yeah, looks good. It is done. Tucked everything in, cut out the vent, my arm hurt. All right, so this is gonna be the room with no seams, meaning that this is all gonna be one piece of carpet. It's gonna go into the closet and it's all gonna run this way. The rooms are exactly 12 foot wide, a little bit less, like 11, like 11, 10 and a half. So you have a, like an inch or two left over to go into that doorway, all right? So they're right at exactly 12 feet. So this room we measured, we took our tape measure, we measured from one end of the wall all the way into the closet. And I believe we measured 13, like 13.5, we're gonna give it like four extra inches just so we have some wiggle room on both ends just like we did in the other room. So we're gonna go outside and we are going to measure the carpet. We're gonna roll out the big roll of carpet. We're doing three rooms, so we have about, I think 52 feet of carpet outside. And I'll show you guys how we cut it and we'll go ahead and get these pieces cut. This is a carpet cutting blade. It's a little different than my regular utility blade you pop this right here and it opens up that and it has blades in there and then this is the carpet blade so they're different not absolutely necessary to have to do this all right the only reason i have this is because i i rented the little tool kit and the seaming iron from home depot because i was i needed to do seams this is like 12 dollars to rent it for a day all right guys we got our chalk line here and get started all right guys so we got our 12 foot roll of carpet here and we just started by unrolling and measuring our first measurement make sure you write down your measurements first one is we'll do 13 foot six if you have someone to help you this definitely makes it easier with two people but i just used the little toolbox to hold it right on the edge and then i made both of my marks on the side i just cut a little slit on both sides of my carpet and then i rolled it back Here's where we marked our cuts. We're gonna put the chalk line in here, run it over to the other cut that we, the small little cut that we made, and then we will mark it and then cut it. Okay, so here, you wanna lift up, not go through. This doesn't have to be perfect, but it's gotta be on the line. Next, I'm gonna show you how to bring it in by yourself. So, we are gonna fold this back end over here, where the approximately where the closet's gonna be, so that when we get into the room, we can open it up without having to worry about the extra stuff. So, the closet was like two and a half feet, so we're gonna fold two and a half feet back. All right, and we got a lot of trash on it, so we're gonna sweep it up. And then we're gonna roll it up. All right guys, so really you're just using your back to hold it up. It's not really hard. If you're taller, it's easier. As short people, sometimes the back will try to hit the ground, but uh, it's not heavy or anything. Woo. All right, and then you just gotta be careful when you're walking through the hallways. <laughs> All right, so this is going in this room. All right, so we just Bring it in slowly, and then we drop it. All right guys, so once you bring the carpet in, 
you want to make sure that you set it where you need it in the room so that it unrolls towards your closet and now you see why we folded that piece over there so we've got that piece and then we just unfold this way all right so then we take our piece and fold it out uh, to make it the 12 foot width again and you see the bottom left hand corner right here is where my closet fold is at and we did that so that we could just have the size of the room we could maneuver it and adjust it and put it where we want it all right guys and then you just adjust as needed we want it right on the edge over there you just lift it like this you want to scoot it this way What is up? Editing Brian here, working on the new video actually. And sometimes you just gotta take a break and grab a snack. And the new Built Bar uh, Snickerdoodle Puffs is that snack, guys. It is a mouthwatering, healthy marshmallow drenched in chocolate that tastes like Snickerdoodle. And it's only 160 calories, 15 grams of protein, and 8 grams of sugar, guys. Seriously, you gotta try this. The link will be down below. There it is. Ooh. All right, and so over here, I feel like we have too much. We are going to pull it this way. We're the same thing. We're going to grab the carpet. We're going to scoot it this way until we have about an inch over. it now we've got this piece bent folded and next we're gonna cut right here all right so we're right up to it we are going to cut not over here but farther this way towards the base so that it'll overlap this we don't want to cut it too short so we're gonna go right where the like in the middle of the trim and then we are going to push this carpet as best as we can and then we will run along giving it a couple inches overlap all right and we can go all the way because we don't need this extra piece for anything all right and then we can measure how much we have in the closet. So about 15 inches from here. So then we'll do 20 inches here, just to be sure. All right, we are going to cut down this way, just straight, right at the outlet. Cool. All right, that'll be our piece. It's, of course, it's still too big. It's gonna overlap still, but that's to get it in the closet. And then same on this other side. You do the same thing. We are gonna give it, we're gonna start at the middle of this trim right here. And we're gonna go out like that, then both sides that's what it's looking like right now we've got our excess that we still need this piece right here so we're we always start over here and then we go this way like that then that let me push in that 
that way. And there it is. That's our loose fit. It's already in the closet. Then we'll just have to trim it, stretch it. We started in by tucking the uh, inside of the closet first around the doors and then stretching out away from the door frame um, with the knee kicker and we are tucking in everything as we stretch and I was just always taught to do the little closets first tuck that in and then we're moving along to that wall we are going to tuck that back wall where the closet is we're gonna tuck it in we're gonna stretch the other direction so we need to tuck in that so it doesn't move and then with the knee kicker here we're just going in the opposite direction and kicking hard and getting it to grab onto the tack strip to keep it stretched uh, then we do the same thing on this window wall we just tuck in we make sure that it grabs onto the little tack strip nails and then we go in the opposite direction to stretch it towards the doorway and we're just hitting it and then tucking as we go after it's stretched out and you get rid of any wrinkles then we start trimming and just finishing tucking anything that's left doing the final trim you usually leave about a half inch and then tuck that half inch underneath your trim baseboards all the way around and they do have a tool for this where you can just go down long walls um, I did actually have it in the little kit that I rented but I just did this small room by hand and I just cut it and then tucked it in yeah, and then we picked up trash, guys. Uh, it's been a while since I did carpet. I used to do carpet. I was like a helper for like five years. So I know a bit about it, but it, it's been a while since since I did it. So it was pretty fun to get back to it. I don't particularly enjoy it. All right, guys, so the only thing I forgot was the vent. So for the vent, just find the hole, the edge. right down the middle same thing All right, guys, there you have it. This is the room with no seams at all. All right, so if you have a room that's less than 12 feet wide and then the length doesn't matter, you have the closet right there um, like this. You can do it without any seams. This was one piece of carpet all the way this way. Um, but yeah, looks good. It is done. Tucked everything in, cut out the vent. My arm hurts a little. And the other room we did with the seam and that one's done as well.